Hello and thanks for joining me for this unboxing of Tana Craft Kit number 30. I picked this up during the vault sale earlier this year and super excited to work with this kit because I've um, really been getting into or just really enjoying my uh, die cutting sentiments and this one's actually called Spring Sentiments and I also love the color scheme for this kit. It's almost got like a French country maybe a little bit coastal vibe to it. That's what I always think of when I see kind of uh, whites and blues. Um, okay so going through the card first we have classic card and cream. I think that one's the cream one. It's the darker one, right? And then classic card and ivory white. Marigold yellow classic card. Another classic card in denim blue. Then specialty card in ivory twelve. And specialty card in ice gray glacier. Ooh, do I have this? Um, this is specialty paper old leather armchair, which it really does look like because you get it's like those buttons that are sewn into the cushion to kind of keep everything in place. Um, that's pretty. And then this is specialty paper in freshwater pearl. And I've seen this um, kind of embossed pattern, but in different colors. I've in particular, I think I just used the red version of this in my Valentine's Day cards. Really pretty. Um, love, love the colors in this kit. So those are all of the paper products, and then here are the Nuvo products. So in this month, we're going to get um, a full three-pack of alcohol markers in Honey Amber. And I've mentioned it before, but I, I do... I do like that we get a set of three. I don't. I just don't know that these necessarily blend. Uh, does that middle one look like? These don't look like kind of a light, you know, medium dark to me. They almost look like that one in particular looks very yellow. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just play with it because sometimes the color that gets printed on packaging is different than the color of ink that comes out. I don't know of these three. In the other sets of three that I've seen, um, it looks very obviously like a light, a middle, and a dark tone. Um, and so you can more easily kind of blend between the three and get a nice seamless blend um, and no harsh lines as you change color. But um, but I'll just have to play with this and, and just see what, uh, what effect I get. Yeah, it looks really hay bale, butterscotch, and short horn brown. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Then um, there's we have an aqua flu pen, and um, the packet, the paper that says what all you get says that it's ocean air, um, but I think it's you could get one of three, and I got clear water. Then um, you also get Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. I've never used their adhesive before. So um, I'll probably not open this until my other glues have, you know, run out. I mean, glues, not necessarily all um, equal, but I'm pretty sure theirs is going to be a good quality one. So I'd rather not open it and have it dry out before I can use it. Um, then we get some gemstones and water droplets. Oh, that's cute. So you have different different actual sizes of the water droplets. Then we get a mini crystal drop in buttermilk. I, these like these little mini bottles are so cute. That's a nice color. It's very creamy. And oh, this looks almost the exact same color. It's a crackle mousse. I I love crackle mousse now. I've um I haven't used it a ton and I only have what, what I've gotten in kits, but these little mini pods last a good long time and um, I love the I love the crackle effect. So this is Ivory Coast, but look at the colors. They match pretty well. Really, really beautiful. So then um, getting into the dies, we did also get a binder this month, which is um, for that particular month, so that's really nice. All right, so the sentiments that come in the kit are best wishes, 
So you get the verso and you get the outline die for all of these. Oh, and they kind of match up 100%. So best wishes, um, hello. This one says celebrate and it has nice florals. And these are very snippable too. So I think if you wanted, you could always kind of take the little snips out and either just get the pattern and not the sentiment or just um, have the sentiment and not the pattern. So this one, the last one says, uh, I think it says for you. So really, really pretty. Um, very all occasion sentiments. Oh, I missed one. So this one says happy. And this one says just. Oh, good. So there's just for you. Beautiful. Yeah, and all of the sentiments have the verso decorative and the um, outline, which some of these are just good shapes to have. So this is a nice rounded rectangle, circle, um, kind of a scallop circle or flower, and um, a little tag. So you get some basic shapes out of this, plus you get the sentiments um, and the backing plate. And then this is a little flower. You only get the one though. So it would have been nice to get at least two. You could do some real um, kind of 3D flower shaping. Uh, usually I like at least two different sizes of the same petal shape, but um, three is uh, more optimal for the way I like to make my flowers. And then here we have some additional stamp sentiments that you can combine with the other um, the other ones to kind of uh, kind of round out the full sentiment. So we've got birthday. So you have the happy in the die form, and then you can always stamp out birthday or anniversary. Um, let's can go with let's celebrate for you. You can use the die cut just and then combine it with um, for you. Um, especially for you, especially as a stamp, and then for you in the die form, and then we've got with love and little one. So really, really, this covers kind of all occasions. So I can imagine um, this being a real staple for me. Um, oh, you have to say, just to say, and then you have these really pretty little flourishes and just like really cute little um, flowers of different uh, styles. So you have silhouettes versus outline, um, little hearts, same thing. You have like a an outline and a silhouette. So these little, these little um, kind of decorative elements are really good for just creating your own, stamping out your own backgrounds. Um, so I think that'll be fun to do. I'm I'm looking forward to um, using this kit, and when I flip it to create at least one flat, one layered, one interactive, and one pop-up card, I'll be sure to link to that video at the end of this one. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope everybody's doing well out there, and um, happy crafting, and have a fantastic day. Bye.